Yes, of course, Sir Anthony. I'm sure I do. Are we ever going to be allowed to turn? Sir Anthony, it must be so hard to meet the challenge of the future and yet be fair to your employees. That is the point precisely. We can't fight progress, but we must find ways to soften the blow. I should love to see one of the new harvesters, if you would ever let me. We don't have one here. I should be delighted. Mama, Anna said you wanted me. Look who's paid us a visit. Sir Anthony! How nice! We all thought we'd driven you away with that horrible salty pudding. <laughs> no, indeed. <laughs> but I have been away. He's been in Austria and Germany. How interesting. Interesting and worrying. Sir Anthony's here to show you his new car. Oh, how kind. But alas, not today. I've had Diamond saddled and he's waiting for me. You could ride this afternoon. But it's arranged now. But thank you, Sir Anthony. Do ask me again. I don't suppose you'd take me? Of course. Sir Anthony Strallon. Sir Anthony. Don't worry, Lady Grantham, I haven't got the date wrong. <laughs> what a relief. I could hear Cora wondering if dinner would stretch. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not really here at all, but I was driving past your gates on the way to the calendar Beckett's and I thought I'd take a chance. See, the thing is, I've got two tickets for a concert in York next Friday. How nice! Although, I, I can't... No, I was hoping that Lady Edith might like to accompany me. But I'd love to. Shouldn't you ask what sort of concert it is? Oh, just Hungry Hundred stuff, mostly, you know. Bellini, Puccini, Rossini, I'm not up to anything complicated. I'd like that very much. Excellent. Well, it's quite a hike, so I'll pick you up around six. Uh, Lady Jervis has asked us for a bite to eat afterwards, if that's all right with your mother. By all means. Well, I must run. I hope I haven't spoiled your dinner. We may have to hire a nurse after all. So, how was the drive? It was lovely. <laughs> they are now. Only... When they're in London. Yes? Well, I suspect this is going to be the, the coming thing. Well, he said he had a question for me. He told me he'd ask it at the garden party and he hopes I'll say yes. Yes, I could. Carson's very wary. You must think very carefully what your answer will be. Yes, I should think very carefully about a lot of things. I don't seem to be able to find your sister. I wonder where she is. Of course, she may have been cornered. I know there was some old boar she was trying to dodge. Who was that? I'm not sure. He's simply ghastly, apparently. But he's promised to propose today. I can't tell you how funny she was when she acted it out. She ought to go on the stage. Really? <gasps> oh, amusing. You can't be leaving yet. I'm afraid I must. Please, make my excuses to your mother. But... Uh... Anthony Strallen. I thought it was just us. Oh, very important. Never used to use the chauffeur. Well, you were so disappointed that he wouldn't come shooting. Good afternoon, Lady Grantham. Lady Edith. What a charming surprise. It's been far too long. It's so nice to see you. It's such a relief to see any of our friends who've made it through unscathed. I'm afraid I haven't, quite. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm meeting a train, but I'm too early. Oh. oh I mustn't hold you up. No, I'm not doing anything. Oh. I thought I'd get away from wedding panic. <laughs> don't you like weddings? Oh, don't be silly. Of course I do. 
If only I've talked of clothes and flowers and food and guests until I'm blue in the face. <laughs> yes, weddings can be reminders of one's loneliness, can't they? So I don't know why I said that. That was rather marvellous of you, to expose Larry Gray like that. You saved the day, really. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Matthew saved the day. No, it was you. I do hope we'll be seeing a bit more of you once the wedding's over. Well, uh... Wouldn't you like that? Oh, I should like that very much. Much more than I probably ought to. <laughs> Edith, let Sir Anthony go. Shall we go through? What about poor old Stralen? Have you seen anything of him? I don't know why you call him poor or old, and he's neither. Isn't it dangerous to let this Stralen nonsense simmer on? Well, to be fair, I don't think it's coming from him. Then ask him to end it. If you want me to stay away from her, of course I will. I know it sounds harsh. Please, Robert, I understand completely. Lady Edith is your daughter, and you don't want her involved with some cripple who's far too old. Now you're the one who's harsh. My darling girl, what's this? I think you know what it is, since you asked Sir Anthony to write. Edith, you do understand that I only ever want what's best for you. And you're the judge of that? In this, I think I am. Sybil marries a chauffeur, and you welcome him to Downton. But when I'm in love with a gentleman, you cast him into the outer darkness. Well, that's a point, Robert. Stralin is certainly a gentleman. Well, besides which, Edith tells me he has a house, he has money, he has a title, everything that you care about. You make me sound very shallow. Aren't you? When you make me give him up because he has a bad arm. Oh, it's not the only reason. He's a quarter of a century too old. Did she tell you that? Your daughter is sad and lonely, Robert. Now, I don't mean to interfere, but... Don't you? If you ban him from Downton, I'll only go to his house. I mean it. I don't believe he'd see you. And I'll just wait outside until he does. How can you not like him because of his age? And almost every young man we grew up with is dead. Are you absolutely sure you won't wake up in ten years' time and wonder why you're tied to this crippled old codger? Only if you keep talking like that. Do you know how much you mean to me? You have given me back my life. That's more like it. You're certain you won't wait. To give you the chance to change your mind. Don't worry. I can get it organized in a month. Anthony, the thing is done. There is no point in raking it over. But are you happy about it? I'm happy Edith is happy. I'm happy you mean to keep her happy. That is quite enough happiness to be going on with. What are you saying? I don't understand what you're saying. Edith. Edith. I can't let you throw away your life like this. What do you mean? We're so happy, aren't we? We're going to be so terribly, terribly happy. But you are going to be happy. I pray that you are. But only if you don't waste yourself on me. Anthony, it is too late for this. Might I suggest we all take a step back? No. Let him go. Let him go. You know he's right. Don't stop him doing the only sensible thing he's come up with in months. Thank you, Lady Bantham. The granny! No, no, it's over, my dear. Don't drag it out. Wish him well and let him go. Oh.